Hi everyone! Um, I'm going to do a favorites video of some of my favorite bath products that I use in creams and so I'm just going to get started and um, right now on my list that I well the thing that I use the most that I absolutely adore and love are soaps from Ariel Secret Garden and um, I love every single soap that she makes so I just picked up my three favorite scents and the first one is Vampire Kisses and it looks like this it's absolutely gorgeous and it has glitter and it has flower and f on top and the scent is a sweet tart berry scent and it has undertones of peach and different fruits but I just smell mainly like a tart sweet berry and this is my favorite scent it is so unique nobody else makes this scent I just did a Halloween haul and everything was in this scent and it's gorgeous oh I love vampire kisses gorgeous 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 my second favorite soap from her is tea for two now I've tried different choice um, scented soaps none of them compare to this it is extremely strong and extremely sweet and I love this scent oh my god it's gorgeous I could just sit here when I have a bad day I'm gonna tell you a secret when I have a bad day I'm feeling really bad and I just like you know need something to pet me up I actually go and grab a piece of this soap and smell it I guess it's endorphins but it makes me feel really happy I love this scent of this soap my third one is one she discontinued but recently remade again which is divine strawberry wine and it's a beautiful soap and it's a tart strawberry scented soap with an undertone of wine oh and this soap is gorgeous this is my little girl Lorena's favorite she has a very mature sense of smell because you would think she'd like the sweeter ones but this is her favorite I bought um Cherie out of all the ones that she had when she stops making it but she remade it again only it's a different formula different scent and she says it smells more like wine tarter than before and less strawberry like and I'm hoping it still smells like strawberry because I like the strawberry I think that's what made it smell so good mm, but I trust Miss Cherie because Cherie has the same uh, favorite scented soap that I do so I totally trust her she's absolutely wonderful she will never sell anything that she does not like herself so yeah Ariel Secret Garden love 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 there's her website right there it's an Etsy site love her soaps um, my second favorite soap so I'm just this is in no particular order I'm just grabbing things um, this is from Sensational Soaps and Sarah is the owner of them Sensational Soaps and she makes soaps with her special needs son Chad and Chad is adorable but this is my favorite soap from her and these all I can say is this is a goat milk soap she has different kinds of goat milk soap but these ones look like this and they have lines on them so <clears throat> the ones with the lines are my favorite goat milk soap for my skin these are the most moisturizing. This is her go oatmeal milk and honey soap. You can smell the oatmeal. You can smell the honey. You can smell the sweet milk. It's a sweet soap. And this has got to be one of the best oatmeal milk and honey scents ever. Oh, and that is the most. This soap, you put it on. I put, use a washcloth and I put it on my washcloth. And the more you rub it in your skin, the creamier it gets. And it's like a super thick cream like a whipping cream on your skin it is the most amazing soap ever the, it's just a gorgeous gorgeous soap I would advise anybody who loves goat milk soap to try this I mean you're missing out if you don't at least try one of these soaps right now I'm using the pumpkin spice that seems to be the most moisturizing for some reason my husband is in love with that soap oh my god it is an experience oh love 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 her soaps um, and I love her honey soap, which I already tried on the bottom. Oh my God. You know, this is so funny. You know how some soaps make you think of stuff like way back in the day? This reminds me of a stupid video game of this dude looking for a princess. He was a knight and I don't know why. Whatever, Mia. I mean, she lost the plot. Anyways, it's really citrusy. It's like... I smell orange and lemon and honey and it's a gorgeous soap very moisturizing it's special because it takes her a while to make she explains it on her website absolutely beautiful absolutely gorgeous there, there's my name didn't mean to do that another thing from sensational soaps that my husband absolutely uses is her whipped soap and this is her whipped parfait soap and pumpkin spice my husband has a um, pomegranate one that he uses all the time I love this one this one oh my god they're highly scented and they're so moisturizing. They leave your skin shiny and almost like when you use a scrub with the oils. This is awesome and a tiny bit goes a long way. I've not really used very many of the Whip Parfait um, 
soaps before, but I gotta say, this is my absolute favorite out of everybody's I've tried. Hands down, hers are the bomb. And speaking of scrubs, actually my favorite scrub, and it's a sugar a scrub, is one that I make, and it's a Kai Berry Mango Tea Sugar Scrub. And I actually put a little bit of Epsom salt in it for my husband when I make it for him. I like mine more sugary. He likes his a little creamier, so I actually blend it. And it comes up more like a body polish to where you put it on your skin, and when you're done, your skin is like so shiny and polished it's beautiful it looks really really nice it's not super greasy or anything when you, your skin's just really polished and this smells amazing it's a kai berry and mango you could smell the honey there's honey there's uh oils there's oh I put a bunch of stuff in here. I have to do research for my family because their skin is so bad. And so we actually use this. This is our sugar scrub. And out of every one's, I got to say, I actually like this one. Even though I make it and it smells amazing. Love. I use this on my face. I use uh, African black soap. And then I use a soap that Sarah has called Propolis soap, which my husband uses, which he loves. And it's the only soap he uses on his hands and his face now. And then I use this scrub after. And then I use Dream Cream. Um, but this is amazing. You could use this on your face. Nothing harmful. Um, I keep it in the fridge. Sometimes it turns into like a jelly consistency. And it's really fun in the shower that way. But this is really nice on my face. It doesn't harm it. My skin is dry. And it doesn't dry it out. It just really, really. I like to use it before I go to bed. So my skin's really nice in the morning. Okay. And the other one is Ivy Scent Soaps. When I first tried Ivy Scent Soaps, I did a video saying I did not like them. Yeah, there must have been something wrong with my arm that day. It must have been on strike or something because I thought it left me squeaky clean. It does not. I take that back. It leaves you so, 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 so moisturizing. There's nothing harmful in these soaps. They are amazing. Erin, oh my God, your soaps are wonderful. This is my absolute favorite. It's in Hawaiian cake. Smells like orange Julius and pineapple to me. That's how I see it. Oh my God, I could just smell this forever. It is my absolute favorite scent anywhere out of everything I've ever tried. Erin, she has my favorite scent and it's Hawaiian cake. Mm. Move on, Mia, move on. I can get lost smell it forever. Okay, moving on. This is her birthday cake and this is my little girl's and she says it takes her to a place that has like castles in the clouds and snow fairies and all this stuff. And it's a very unique cake smelling scent. It's not nauseating. It's not fake smelling. It smells just like freaking. This smells more like strawberry frosting, cake frosting. That's what this smells like. And the actual lotion, because I have it, smells more like the actual cake. And it's good. And I'm using her oatmeal milk and honey. And her version of oatmeal milk and honey is a very clean and fresh version of it. But it's still beautiful. Okay, now, next is bath bombs. I love everybody's bath bombs. Miss Cherise from Aerosecon Garden, hers is huge. And I love hers, but I use it. But I just want to talk about these ones, which is from Sheba's Secret. I think this is under $2.50, 7 ounces. And it is awesome. It's a spa-type bath bomb. It doesn't smell like any of these other sweet, nice scents. As a matter of fact, I've used this before. And it smells like a spa. It, as, as a matter of fact, I've opened them and I've said, oh my God, some of these stink. But when you put them in your water, they have a completely different scent. And it is an experience you have to have. They are amazing. It's like when you, if you've ever been to a spa and you go there, how the spa smells, that's how these smell. My husband, these are his favorites. Sometimes he gets them and he goes, ooh, this one smells horrible. I can't wait to get it in the water. <laughs> this is amazing. I love, love, love her bath bombs. Oops. Oh, it's more of a spa. I mean, I love these. These are great. And they're really affordable. And so Sheba Secrets, you have to try her bath bombs. They're worth it. I mean, just to try. These are from La Bella Beauty Bar. And the reason why I have these out here, this I bought for $2.50, but I think they're $3 now, which is still, you know, good. And this is a five ounce. It's a very heavy bath bomb. It looks small, but it's heavy. And these are the most scented bath bombs I've ever tried and extremely moisturizing. This is moisturizing too. Awesome with oils. This is amazing. Oh my God, they smell so good. And the cool thing about hers is she has the same scents for everything. So you can get her moisturizing lotion bars. You can get these, you can get her sugar scrubs, everything in the same scents. I think bubble bars in the same, same scents. So oh, I love her stuff. Uh, La Bella Beauty Bar, absolutely wonderful. Love her bath bombs and they're gorgeous too. 
and bubble bars. I like bubble bars from everybody. Bubble bars, you can't go wrong with bubble bar. The comforter bubble bar, the Mar bar, I mean everything. But I gotta say, this is the first time I've tried Ariel Secret Garden bubble bars. Look at this. I got about, I use a stocking, you know, so I put a little bit. I got about five baths out of one of these bad boys right here. I thought, oh, it ain't going to work. You know, you just get a little bit. But as the water continues to go and you mess with the water with your hand, you get more and more and more bubbles from these. This is in Vampire Kisses. They're extremely highly scented. Just this alone in your bath makes your whole bathroom smell like it. These are awesome, Miss Cherie. You've outdone yourself. I will always buy these from her. Her Rockstar ones are so good. These are some of the best bubble bars I've ever used. Better than Lush, hands down, I said it. Um, lotion bars. My favorite is Strawberry Fills Forever from Lush. I don't have it. And this is my Monge too. This is one of the big ones. And smells like white chocolate with banana. Yeah, I actually tasted this. They said it was vegan and you could. Don't you know I did? Awesome. And La Bella Beauty Bars. These were, I bought this for $2.50. And these are absolutely amazing. My daughter wears these. They're so highly scented that um, she wore it and came home and it still smelled the same. She said everyone at school was telling her, what perfume are you wearing? Because she was wearing black cherry or something. And she goes, mama, everybody loves these. So she even takes these and she lets everybody know, you know, this is what I'm wearing. These are awesome. This one's in blueberry. And I got to tell you, oh my God, I smell like a blueberry. These are uh, La Bella Beauty Bar. These are awesome. I like these better. They're more moisturizing than the Lush ones, believe it or not. Gorgeous. Now for lotions, I have to hurry up. A Life Deliberate. I did a video on it. And this is her um, Goat Milk and Aloe Deep Conditioning Cream. I use this for my little girl when she has a breakout with her eczema psoriasis. And it stops it dead in its tracks. I use her mousse to maintain it. And this is a, if you have cracked heels, anything, this stuff is awesome. This is a Sultana Dupe Concubine. My husband uses this one. This is the only thing that works on his skin that way. I mean, it, it's, it's perfect for any kind of dry skin or anything. I can't say enough about these. These are number one on my list for my family. Uh, Ivy Scents and Hawaiian Cake. Yeah, I will buy this till the day I die. This dries down so beautiful to a silky, um powdery consistency and I totally love it dream cream my personal favorite I use it on my face I use it on everything so essential oils olive oil is really good for your skin I use it on my body this is part of my face routine every day I cannot do without dream cream I started buying other stuff because I don't want to pay like 30 bucks for it because it's almost that much but uh yeah love dream cream it's my favorite my personal favorite and sensational soaps has a lotion and it's waterier than all these things and I had it on a video and I love that because that dries super super silky and it's her lotion and it's the most silkiest lotion I've I, I mean it's watery and I thought oh my god this is so watery but it just feels like silk on your skin and and you have to try her lotions they're amazing. So these are all my favorite things that I use every day. And um, yeah, they're gorgeous. Somebody asked me and I just want to do a video about it. So this is it. I'm going to do another one about some other stuff that doesn't have to do with bath stuff. I'm going to try anyways because I'm so into it. Alrighty, have a good day. Bye-bye.